All right, so had to call the big guns in and my wife's uncle, no, cousin, I believe, um, Hoagie, who's actually a real farmer, <laughs> um, you know, he raises um, cows as well, um, more for um, like bloodline type stuff. Um, he shows them and, you know, um, I believe he sells like, uh, like sperm and stuff like that. So he knows this stuff. He has a website. I'll try to link that in the description as well, but he's a great guy. He's going to come over and help which is a huge help because, um, you know, it's definitely a little uneasy, I think, for me and Billy. Um, I just don't know where to start. You know, I don't know where to um, start by, you, you, you corner a bull and you just try to like pin him up. Like, I, you know, I don't know, I, have, I literally have no idea. So we're gonna try to get him situated, maybe try to get him into the bullpen area somehow. So that's gonna, that means we're gonna have to move Chad out of the bullpen area. Um, and hope that he stays uh, in that electric fence and um, then get Mo into the bullpen area and move people, up, cows all, all around, try to keep the heifers out of the bullpen area and also deal with the donkeys that are gonna be kicking around too. So there's a lot going on here. So I'm gonna try, I'm rushing back now. I just got a, a few more fence posts just in case we have to set something up um, like a little area to put Chad in maybe or the donkeys um, you know while we try to do this I don't know if, if the idea is to run Mo through the head gate and then and then put the halter on Mo in the head gate uh, again I don't know so thankful that Hoagie's coming over here um, because he is gonna be a big help so let's get some stuff moved around these girls know something's up and Chad you know, I got the the donkeys stuck in their little area, which they're pissed off about. Trying to make up a new area for Chad to go while we get Mo over. So that's been a little challenging. So let's try to figure this out. You ready, Chad? Yeah. Did it get you? Well, yes. I just did. Hell. Well, pull it through your hands and you get to a wire. <laughs> yeah. Some gloves? <laughs> no, I'll let you do it. Well, the main <laughs> fence was off, but we, we still had the solar on. Why don't you just well, tie it down below. Well, I Billy got a little zap. Yeah, we can't tie it to the bottom. Good boy. Oh. Oh, how'd that feel? He's got a good taste of it right there. Look at him. 
<laughs> I feel like I need a red. Um, keep them in here. I know. Oh, that's chaotic. Now I'm gonna see if the donkeys are gonna stay in the little area we made for them. We're gonna call it no man's land. Let's check it out. Don't freak out. I have a gonna blow right through this. Hold them in there? because I had to run and jump over the gate to shut that barn door. I was afraid Mo was going to get out. We also never thought he'd be able to get through that feed gate. <laughs> he might go through there for sure. Those are wild. He gets out there and then we're... Yeah, he does. Yeah, that is true. I'm gonna go on the other side of it so we can't go through there. If he gets to here, he can't go past here, so I don't need to. I think somebody took him from all through those. Through those. Come on. What's our goal? Get him in here? Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Right here? Yep. I'm worried about getting down to the turkey. Get the turkey. I know, buddy. I'm not getting bad here. <laughs> What do you mean when he lets it? When he stops pulling? Yeah, so it's a lot of pressure and release. Okay. So that, so you release him and he feels like, okay, I'm all right, and he got pulling. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna keep pulling, okay. I always put it around the top too, in case you can get it to the leverage if you get it.
you so you just try to do this a couple times training session type thing. Do it. The other thing you can do is tie them up. Yeah, that's what you I see. Gotta have a good spot to tie. That's what I see a lot of people doing. I feel like this is like drag it around. But drag this around. Step on it and then it'd be like. Yeah. But it's getting the feeling of it around his head. Okay. His nose. You can just tell Mo was more comfortable with Hoagie just because Hoagie was more confident in what he was doing. It's amazing that these animals pick up on your emotions. If you ever get a situation where you're really going nuts, you like, yep. just take them in a circle. When they're in a circle, they're, they're, they get a stuck <laughs> in the okay. So you try to turn them if you can. If not, then just... Color wise? Yeah. I know. I was... <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Something about bulls, though, you'll end up. I uh, always end up having a better. I should say better relationship, but you'll yeah. he'll be your buddy in the end. For some reason. The steer is actually kind of friendly, too, which kind of is annoying. Because <laughs> it's only going to be around for a little bit. <laughs> but you could tell the farm that he the farm that he came from was like. Basically, they're not, they weren't pets, but you could tell they were like in love with their animals. Like, they... what do you think, Mo? What do you think? Huh? Freaked out? What's up, Mo? You're okay. You want something else to come together? Look, look. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I throw himself. And yeah. He gets falls on the ground. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah. That side, that yeah. little jab. Yeah, the, the, the place we got, Chad, the cows, if you have a farm and cows, they have to have one. Oh, really? <laughs>